Hi, hello, what's up Jelly Cups? My name is Crispy Jelly, and today I'm going to be playing a game called Coffee Talk. I know nothing about the game, and with that being said, let's get into it. Now first, select the language. English. Ooh. Toge Productions, or Toge, or Toge, Toji, whatever. I don't know, guys. Anyway, this is a demo for this game, and there's a full version coming out at some point. I'm not quite sure, but this is just the demo. So, this is Coffee Talk. Let me check out. Okay, anyway. Let's go. What is my name? I am Crispy Jelly. Yeah, I'm Crispy Jelly. I like the smooth music in the background. Yep, that's correct. I don't know how long this game is, so... Ooh, Seattle 2020. A city filled with dreams and madness. A time when the great war between the races is but a footnote in history. A time when anyone can dream of being whatever they want to be. It's like Zootopia. And have those dreams crushed before they can even be discussed. Aw, oh, that's so sad. But still, it is a place and time where anything can happen. Writing and game design, Muhammad, uh, uh, people. Interesting. It is when elves have left the forest to build their startups. When the dwarves have emerged from their caves to start their automotive empires. When the orcs have put down their axes and started using computers to improve their lives. And when humans live among them, as driven as ever. It is a city that holds the many dreams and stories of its people. What a beautiful story. Most of these stories are left untold, but some few find solace in the embrace of bricks and wood and glass. They are told over drinks, then take up residence in some stranger's memories. I really like the aesthetic of this game, this is awesome. In one corner of the city stands a coffee shop. A place that is only open when the sun is sleeping. A place where people share their stories. And these are their stories. Oh, this is so cool. I haven't even done anything. I love this. This design is so cool. Oh, it's so good. Tuesday, September 22nd, 2020. Press any key. Ooh. Oh, uh, hello, Freya. Hey, Crispy Jelly, how's the night so far? Huh? What happened? I don't know. <laughs> Man, that's... Okay, hold up. Wait. Okay, wait. I need to figure out controls. That's good to hear. I haven't said anything, have I? Okay, hold up. What? What is going on? Okay. Time out. Why are there so many notifications? Um, uh, undiscovered. What? Ah, uh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna start with going through the stuff, okay? So, green tea latte, both sweet and savory, with a hint of bitterness for the heart. Dark chocolate, very calming. Wait, a warm and calming darkness. I think I'm gonna use like a smooth voice for a lot, for my character, since <laughs> drown your troubles in coffee. Cafe latte. A caffeine boost dominated by milk. Cappuccino. Italian delight. Espresso. Blacker than a moonless night. Hotter and more bitter than hell itself. Alright. Um, hang on. What is this? Tomodachi. Or Tomodachi. Freya. Oh, this is Freya. Okay, hang on. Storyteller. Birthday, 29th January. Writer for the Evening Whispers. Talks about mundane things. Art. And life in general. Friends only, close friends only. Okay, interesting. So this is how we this is how we keep track of the people we're talking to. Uh, Georgie. Uh, birthday, first June. Alright. Gala. 
Okay, so we don't know anything about them. All right, so back to the back to this. I haven't said. Wait, I'm a writer, not an editor. Okay. So I'm used to taking things slow. That's good. It's always good to take some things in life slow. You got that right. Wait. Can they hear me? Remember my plan to... To what? Oh, that sounds like coffee. <laughs> yes, please. Have I said things? Is it... What's going on here? What are these three buttons? I can't hang on. Time out, guys. Hold up. No. Okay, hang on. Um. If you forget how to make it, just check your phone, okay? Alright. I really need that triple shot espresso. Alright, tripl triple shot espresso. Um. Oh, oh! Okay. So it just switches to. Okay. Okay. This is cool. I really like this. Okay, espresso. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Alright, great. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Oh, this is so cool. I love this. Ding, ding, ding. Here you go. Mmm, that aroma. Ah, exactly what I need. You're welcome. Anyway, where were we? Yes, that. It's not that I hate writing stories for the newspaper, you know. But it seems like the right time for something bigger. You know, sometimes all that people need is a bigger pro- Hang on. I gotta, I gotta remember to switch voices. <laughs> Sometimes all people need are like a bigger project in life, you know? Take your mind off the mundane things and maybe have a bit more purpose. Yes. <laughs> uh, can this hear my mic? Because holy moly, it. I, I don't know, guys. It sounded so simple when I was making the plan. Well, things in life generally sound simple. <laughs> this, is, this is bizarre. This is gonna. Okay. Mm <laughs> hmm. No, you were right. He said something I should have thought about myself. <sighs> you know who owns the evening whispers? Somebody who whispers in the evening? Yes. I am the king of this game. They are also the biggest book publisher in the country. Hey, you've got some status then. That's pretty cool. You're working for somebody who can help you. I don't know what I'm saying. So when an opportunity presented itself, yeah, exactly, you took one. Yep, that's good. It's good in life when an opportunity presents itself, you know, to to achieve what you're wanting to achieve, right? To give yourself a, a motive, a reward, or somewhere that you're trying to go. It's important to take that opportunity, you know, especially when it helps you better yourself, you know, because then you can help yourself and those around you. I bumped into one of the guys in the elevator, one of the big guys in the elevator. So naturally, I pitched my book idea. Oh, I found it interesting. Uh-oh. Come on, don't look at me like that. No, it's good to pitch things, I think. Yeah, yeah, I know, it's such a stupid thing to do. I would not have said that. I don't know who's speaking for me, thankfully. He'd seen my short stories. That's cool. How how widespread are your short stories? I mean, I guess they're in a newspaper, so that's pretty widespread. So he challenged me. Oh no, a challenge of words. If I can get a draft ready in a month, he'll pull some strings. Hmm. Okay. And get that fiction publishing division to sign me up for a publishing deal. Yo! We were just talking about an opportunity presenting itself. You should take this. You uh, you are the most creative person I have seen in this video game. So I know you can do it. You just need to put your mind to it. And you can do whatever you can. That's the hard part. I know it is. I've been secretly working on the novel during office hours. Eh, you know how 
work is sometimes it's like, nah, you got nothing better to do, so might as well put your time towards something that's worth more, you know? It's falling behind on the newspaper's deadlines. Hmm. You gotta make sure to have a good balance, of course, and that's the hard part of life. If the chief finds out, she'll probably kick me out. Don't worry, I won't speak to your chief. That was last week. Oh, did you find out? Again, don't look at me like that. I, hey, I'm a little disproving of your uh, deadline missing, but I understand where you're at. Hey, that's rude. Hey, look, that's just my thoughts, okay? That's my personal opinions. I know you might feel differently, but hey, I, I put stock in my work. I've written some stuff, you know. Hey, I'm not saying you didn't write anything. I'm not saying you were n neglecting your job completely. But there's a good balance to find. And you'll find it with time. And maybe even if you get your opportunity, if your opportunity goes through and you're able to work full time there, then you won't have to balance as much. You'll have more free time and be able to write your novels separately. Oh no. So I delete everything. Hey, I know how that is. I've deleted a couple of videos before because they just weren't good enough. So, really need to finish it in at least two weeks. That's that's rough. I've done some writing work before, and it can be rough to deal with sometimes. Use the extra week to polish and do some editing. Okay. <laughs> I love being cynical. What are you talking about? This is part of my job. I serve coffee as a living, apparently. So, I am cynical towards people, you know? I also like being very, um... I don't remember. I like being... I like, I like looking down on people. No, I should not say that. I'm, I'm leaving that in. That's why I'm here today. Uh, to be cynical looked at? Hoping to find some inspiration. If you need some inspiration, I've got some words. I wrote some of my best short stories here, you know? Hey, sometimes all it needs is a swig of coffee and some, like, looking at the wall and you just come across inspiration, you know? You just look at the wall and you find the meaning of life itself in the wallpaper. And that's just sometimes how life works. Oop. Another customer. Hi there! Hello. Good evening. Yes, please. I'm not really sure what to order, though. Oh, no, I should have introduced myself. Nuts. All right, well. Ah, I would recommend the... Let me see here. The green tea latte, personally. Uh, the green tea latte. Here to meet my boyfriend. Not planning to be awake all night. But definitely no coffee. Don't worry. Well, hang on. This is the green tea. How about something chocolatey? Ah, if you're looking for a chocolatey, have I got the thing for you the dark chocolate that's it it's just called the dark chocolate and all it is is chocolate it's perfect for this weather oh it is some good hot chocolate on a nice rainy afternoon it's the perfect way to spend your time that's a good idea actually thank you you're welcome i like the little horns on her phone any with chocolate in it, please. i've got the perfect thing for you chocolate chocolate and chocolate and whoa, bam! Actually, hang on. Please enjoy. Oh uh, yes, that chocolate. Hang on, let me check this thing. Is that okay? I think it's just updated it. All right, hang on. Yes, indeed. I make sure that it is a nice, warm temperature. Not too hot. You don't want to burn yourself but just perfect so you can feel the warmth as it goes down your throat and into your stomach. Perfect for warming up on a nice chilly afternoon. Or evening. Yes, he should be here soon. Oh, good. Look at you now. You went from empty to three customers in one night. You know how that is sometimes. Coffee shops, they can go from empty, just myself cleaning the mugs, to where maybe there's like a crowd of people, you know? Groups, and they like hanging out, drinking coffee, and talking, you know? That's how it goes. I thought this place would be more crowded. Well, people don't like going out in the rain, you know? The the muggy weather 
Uh, despite all the people you see back there, uh, ignore all of them. Most of the time, people don't like heading out in the rain, considering it's the only coffee shop, so. Well, you know, people don't, uh, they also don't need coffee at night as often, you know? So, because who drinks coffee at like, you know, 2, 1 or 2 a.m.? I mean, unless you have a night job, but. Because it's the only coffee shop that still opens past midnight. It's mostly- Yeah, exactly! Oh, you mentioned it. Is it good for business, having a coffee shop only at night? Well, it's good for the vampires. Um, but other than that, there's very few customers, you know. The occasional person that comes to <clears throat> drown your troubles in coffee. But other than that, we get fairly slow business. Definitely not. No. Then why? Because I enjoy it. It is fascinating. The my my mind works very strangely. Sometimes. Pardon me for asking. Oh no, not at all. How can you survive running a coffee shop like this? <sighs> because I hmm, that's a good question. I don't know. You know what? I'm going to answer for myself. So, this is not my only job. I work other jobs as well. But this is the job I care about, right? This is my I don't want to say like hobby. But this is the job I care for, right? I like talking to people, serving the coffee. This is the job I put my heart into. So I can't live off of it, but it is the one I care about. Never mind, I guess I'm wealthy. I <laughs> Screw you, I don't do other jobs, you kidding me? I'm rich and I do this as a hobby. This is my, this is for funsies. Oh really? Don't worry about it, because we jelly can manage. Oh yeah. I sure can. Don't listen to me talking earlier about how I work at McDonald's. No, I do this coffee shop just for the funsies. I have so much money, I could buy, uh, I could buy a museum if I wanted to. I'm sure, this place isn't going bankrupt anytime soon. Nope. Each one of those bricks is gold that's painted brown. They still have a weird, quiet place to meet up at night. Exactly. That's why, with all of my wealth that I have, I made this coffee shop for mine and others' enjoyment, so they can just hang out, talk, and kind of relieve their stresses, you know, and unload their worries onto me, so I, so I can help them. Don't, don't pay attention to whatever I just said. Unload their worries onto me. Okay, guys, look, I know, I'm moving on. That's good to hear. Yes, I'm glad to hear that. By the way, are you a regular here? I don't really have anywhere else to go. That's kind of sad. I'm a writer who works best at night and in a coffee shop. Not so many options for that. Ah, no wonder. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> wow, that's really interesting. I, oops, I forgot to say stuff. I'm, there, I'm having a little trouble figuring out cues of where I'm supposed to talk or not. But I think the best way to do it would just be to talk in general. So, uh, yeah. What kind of things do you cover? Oh yeah, this is her answer. Get the stories of people around town. Hmm. How much material you'll have for that? Personal, interesting, weird stories. Ah, so like your personal life. I contribute to their short stories. Alright, cool. I love their fiction. Who wrote this story? You wrote this stories? Sorry, wrong inflection. Thank you. Oh yeah, you should see your work on the newspapers. Or most of them, but not all. That's so cool. Then, are you here to write a new piece? <laughs> I should be. Ah, you see, Frey over here is kind of slacking. So, you know, but I don't even know what to write about. Coffee. You can always write about coffee. Oh, <gasps> customer. Hey, what's up? Hi. Sorry to keep you waiting. It's okay. I had a nice chat with the fine folks here. Oh, thank you. Hi there. Hello. Hmm. Surprise me. What kind of order is that? Ha! <laughs> Well, I don't really know what to order. How about some chocolatey chocolate? I can recommend a nice, warm, smooth, triple dark chocolate, dark chocolate, milk, drink. I don't know. I don't know what to call them because it's just called chocolate. Something bitter to keep me awake with milk. Oh, and draw some latte art. <gasps> I've got the perfect drink for you. I think you are referring to the delicious green tea latte. Made with green tea, milk, and milk, both sweet and savory with a hint of bitterness for the heart, with some beautiful patterns on top. Perfect for what you need, if you're at the- yeah. Uh, okay wait, hang on. 
it's green tea, milk, and milk. Green tea, milk, milk. I wonder if there's going to be a point where I have to make a custom drink. Because I noticed that those, the, the warm, cool, and like bitter and sweet and stuff. That's interesting. This won't help me stay awake. But at least it's got milk. Oh, wait. Did he? Hold up. Bitter with milk and oh, draw some latte. Well, okay. Well, I don't think I did anything wrong. I think you just said that. Okay. Anyway, I was distracted by some work. Plus, there's the rain. Yeah, the rain's a little hassle. It's okay, Bailey's. Oh, I know his name. I was having a nice chat with him. Oh yeah. I hadn't even properly introduced myself. I'm Bailey's. Oh, I got a new message. What's up, freelance designer? I don't have any information. All right, cool. Oh my, where are my manners? I haven't introduced myself either. My name is Lua. Hi there. Let's see here. October. Oh no. I I don't know. Is that okay? That's something I don't know. I can't speak that. All right. Hi, I'm Freya. I am Crispy Jelly. Hey, did you know that Freya is a writer for the Evening Whispers? Oh really? I've done some work for them a few times. Oh, what kind of work? I'm a freelance designer and illustrator. <gasps> hey, I saw that. I've done some caricatures and infographics for the paper. I assume you were in contact with Steve. Yep, he's a nice guy to work with. Oh yeah, Steve. I remember him. He's the one that like drops the he dropped the net into the pond one, one time, remember? Oh really? Yeah, you guys haven't heard that story? He he was like trying to get fish algae out of the pond because we have a pond out back and so he was trying to fish it out um, and he dropped it and it was hilarious and then it was surrounded by fish and we had to get like a whole thing like somebody had to get one of those claw things to like, grab it and pull it out sorry if I interrupted the conversation guys <laughs> oops my bad fellas no he isn't oh, I did. okay great but I've dealt with worse clients way worse I've dealt with some not great clients yeah I'm glad he's in the design and visuals department I wouldn't be able to stand working with him directly <sighs> hmm I don't know if I want to say anything about that ah uh, come on he's tough to deal with but definitely not the worst oh of course no matter how deep you go there's always another layer of hell yep that's what Dante's Inferno is how do you usually deal with bad customers here I pour whatever they ordered on their head and kick them out that sounds really bad. <laughs> hey, look, I'm sorry, okay? That's just my strategy, all right? I panic, and it's just like, get out of my shop. It's because you're good with your fists. Yeah, my fists are really good at holding coffee. Uh, sure, I beat the crap out of them. That's what I do. Not as good as your coffee making skills. My coffee making skills are top notch. If you would like any kind of coffee I can provide, then you will get the top quality five star coffee delicious you're welcome thank you I, I'm happy for the compliment anyway I really need to start writing uh, whatever it is I'm going to write so I'll leave you to in the hands of our friendly neighborhood barista that's me where are you going to write oh not far just over the table in the corner next to the windows that's my spot oh, okay have fun <laughs> <laughs> I'll try. <laughs> oh man. Uh, good luck. Thanks. Okay. Shall we move to other seats too? Nah, here's good. Okay then. So, how was your day? It was fine. Work was nothing special. I finished my proposal early so I could get out of the office. Plus, my boss was in a really good mood all day. I thought your boss was always in a happy-go-lucky. Or wait, I thought your boss was always a happy-go-lucky person. Well, he is. But today he's happier than usual. I'm not sure what happened, but it was great to see him smiling so much. What about you? Any problems with your latest client? Yeah, this one is a pain in the ass. You know those memes that depict terrible clients? Well, she fits all the bills. I could go on forever complaining about her, but that won't help me a bit. You should make a meme about her. Yes, you should. And lose my current project for a minute of laughter. That might be worth it. You should ask Crispy Jelly here how to deal with annoying clients. Have I got a story for you. 
Oh yeah, how do you usually deal with annoying customers? <clears throat> I may have mentioned my strategy for removing annoying slash disturbing customers. What I, you know, what I generally do is first I see, I try and figure out their reason for being annoying slash disturbing. Then I pour whatever they ordered on their head and kick them out. The ones you don't need your fists to take care of. Precisely. Now that's one good lesson to learn for the day. Yes, not to listen to me. Oh. Your parents? Yes. Oh no. So you've talked to them? I did. It didn't end well? No. Alright, I'm gonna try and call what's going on here. I don't know if I should be talking to them or to, like, my audience, but... Okay. She is, I believe, an orc or something. She's got pointed ears and horns. He's got pointed ears, but no horns. And, like, maybe he's an elf and she's an orc and their his her parents don't approve of their marriage. That's, that's my first guess. What did they say? A lot. They won't give us a chance at all. <gasps> I was right. Well, mostly. I haven't. But I was right at least anyone. But no. Yeah, baby. Woo. Knew it. Man, I'm so good at these games, guys. That's what they said. How dare they. More or less the same. I got into a fight with my old man. That's why I'm staying at Farron's place now. They kicked you out? You don't have to do this, you know. They're your family. I can't stand even one more second being part of them. I might not have a stable income, but I can manage. But still, you don't know what they said about you last night. I'm sorry. What did they say about me? Or my race, I assume. Forget it. I want to know. Just the same old crap. Mumbling about how elves are holy creatures. About our mortality. About how I even... Or how... Wait. Sorry. <clears throat> about how even if I outlive you... What? Nothing. About how if you outlive me, no other elves would want to be with an elf. It's already been tainted by a lowly succubus. Ah, so that's what she is. That's exactly what they said. So this is it, huh? The end of our relationship? Don't... I, I've got some words. It doesn't have to be. You know our families will never agree. We can just continue like this. What do you mean? They don't need to know we're still dating. We can just continue the way we've been. Without them knowing. And then what? Do you want to be hiding our relationship for the rest of eternity? We're not like humans, you know. You can't just elope. And you won't get permission because you're too old. Lua, I don't care about their permission. I'm glad to sever my family ties if I have to. I can't let you do that. You'll lose your immortality. Yeah. Yes, your immortality. If I get to spend my life with you, I don't mind. I don't mind a bit. So how does immortality work in this then? Does, is it family related? Okay, wait. I have some words. And I'm gonna say them. No, I'll wait. You're making this hard for both of us. Do you feel happy when you're with me? Of course I do. Hang on. Then you don't need any more reasons. You know we're perfect for each other. You don't even need to look deep down. Trust me, we can do this together. I can't think about this clearly right now. Guys, no, don't do this. Don't break up your relationship just because of what your parents say. You are your own individuals. And those guys are narrow-minded jerks who can't look past your skin, your horns, your race, whatever. They are the they're not good people okay if they can't look past you you're both humans what's wrong with her being a succubus and him being an elf i don't get the difference you know i don't understand now okay so here's where things are change a little bit say say for instance right if the laws of nature and he hooked up with her and that causes him to lose his immortality right that's how it works i can understand his family being against that because they don't want him to lose his immortality but it's also one of those things where I agree with this guy. It's his choice and her choice. If those two want to be together, they should not look to their families at all. It should be their choices. They should not listen to what their families say about immortality or whatever. And him being like, you know what? It's worth it to me. And I love you 
we should be together. And she's like, yes, I concur. And then they get together, you know? They should not listen to their families. That's what I think. We'll talk later. Lua, wait. Oh, no. Bailey's. Sorry I had to listen to our homes. No, this is exactly what I like listening to. Because I try, I want to help you guys. This is, I like, I like philosophy. I like psychology. So I really like listening to these sorts of problems and trying to help people with them, you know? Heh, <laughs> I hope so too. I really do hope you guys can work that out. Do you have any alcohol? <laughs> Let me check. I don't think so. Nope, that's a bummer. Well, do you have anything that's warm and can calm me down? I do indeed. Green tea lattes? I'll take one. I right, let me take a look at my green tea latte. Green tea, milk, and milk. Didn't you already have one of those? Ah, uh, boop. That looks very tasty. This is good. You're welcome. Thank you for this. By the way, are you married? Uh, I'm gonna go with no, because in real life I'm not. And in this game, I have no idea, so I'm saying no. You have someone you love? Similarly, I don't know how much of myself has been built up in this game, but I'm gonna go with no. Heh, <laughs> I didn't really have any expectations. Hey, now! Yo! Man, of all the people in the whole world, why did I fall for her? Dude, sometimes you, you don't know how things go, right? Sometimes, you, you, some, one of these days, okay, one day you're going to think, hey, I'll never fall in love. The next day, bam, out of nowhere, you just fall into somebody and bam, it's a relationship. You don't know how things, sometimes life is just going to throw a curveball at you. You can if you try hard enough. I don't know what I was supposed to say there. At least that's what my old man told me. Hmm. He really is one pretentious elf. Well, you know how old people are sometimes. But I guess all of them are. Ha! <laughs> ah, that's because they're long-lived. You'd, you'd think, if they could live forever, right? You'd think they would be able to look past that. Because of, like, seeing... Like, okay, say, for instance, right? An orc, I don't know, orc or succubus or whatever. Like, demon or something. There's gotta be at least one good demon. And one elf that's lived long enough to see hundreds of thousands of demons and seen like at least one percent of them are good you know and at least i'm saying that at least right and so you got to think are they still that prideful not to be like hmm, maybe we should you know uh look at the good ones and be like hey friends rather than cutting ties with the entire species just because the stereotype of them is bad titled pretentious immortal douchebags yeah well you know how it is. Or an eternity to be an eternal a-hole. Ah, well, you know how it is. Anyway, I need to go now. And probably drink myself under until the sun rises. That's That sounds like an unhealthy way of dealing with problems. But, hey, I, I guess I can't stop you. More time for me to drink, then. See you around. Good talking to you. See you around, too, Miss Frey. Yeah, I forgot she's in the corner. Oh, there's Frey again. Yes. Poor souls. I know. I agree. Me too. <laughs> anyway, I need to leave. I have to get up earlier than usual. Earlier than usual for you? That's pretty early. Yeah, okay. Okay, you have a good night then. Good night, Freya. Well, just me, myself, and I. Oh. Spicy. Oh, I, is this a new one? Or is this... Wednesday, September 23rd, 2020. The evening whispers, zombie virus from Africa may have reached Seattle. Oh no. Sale groceries. Okay. Um, I might want to end this here. So, because it's been a little bit... Hmm. Yeah, okay. You know what? I'm going to end this here, guys. So this has been, uh coffee talks or wait yeah this has been coffee talks or whatever the title is okay i'm not gonna look at it right now okay okay so this has been coffee talks it's been very fun i really like the style 
I really like the talking. Sometimes it can't predict what I'm going to say. Sometimes it does perfectly. So, I might do another episode of this. Because this is very fun. I've been enjoying this. Uh, but I'm going to end this one here. So, with that said, uh, bye.